What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use print statements in your own scripting for Roblox Studio. Print statements are often overlooked in scripting and I just want to make sure you guys know how to use them and why you should use them. That way later on in your scripting journey, you'll be able to use your own print statements to debug your code and for all sorts of different reasons. So what we're going to start out with is going into server script service right here. We're going to click on the plus icon and we're just going to add in a script right here. If you don't see a script, you can search for it right up here in the search bar. Just search for a script and then when you click on it, it should be added right into server script service. Inside of the script over here on the left, you should see a line of code already made. And this is a simple line of code called print hello world. What this print statement is is a piece of code that simply allows you to send a message into the output or console and the message can consist of letters as you see right here numbers which we're going to get into or symbols such as emojis if you go up to the view tab right up here and open up the output and then go over to the home tab and click on play you can see that right here inside of our script it ended up printing hello world from our server and that is because right up here inside of our script we printed hello world and so in the most simplest form whatever we put inside of these brackets right here these two parentheses on the end is what's going to ultimately be set to the console and you don't have to only use letters like this this is called a string because there are quotation marks and this makes it into a string but if you wanted to do a number or two so if you get rid of the quotation marks in between these parentheses on the end here you can type in different numbers like one two and three you will have to use a comma to separate them out of course but if we click to play once again you can see that our script will print one two and three just like that now let me show you why print statements are useful print statements are mainly used for debugging which means finding and fixing logical errors inside of your script this can easily be done by printing something out whenever another thing happens for example, let's say you made a sword in your game and you want to make it so that whenever you click with your sword, it will swing and possibly deal damage to another player or object. But whenever you click, let's say it doesn't actually swing the sword at all. You could use a print statement to print out a certain message if we just wrote a string right here that wrote, let's say, sword swung because we're going to basically use this to tell if the input was detected whenever we clicked. So we basically put this print statement right here underneath the line of code that we use to swing the sword. And if it doesn't work, then we know that whatever we're using to detect that click input was not being detected properly. But if it does work, then we know that the mouse click was detected, if that makes sense. So make sure you just kind of mess around with these, print out different items like hello world, Hi guys, all sorts of things you can do like this. Overall, keep on practicing and have fun printing. You can try out different questions for yourself too, such as how would I go about putting the word subscribe into my print statement? And you just mess around with that saying, I can simply just swap out these words with subscribe. Or you could say, how would I put multiple values inside of my print statement? You can easily just put a comma right here and you can do a number if you wanted to. You can do all sorts of different things like that. So make sure you keep on testing yourself and keep on practicing and you'll get these down in no time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you later.